I wanted to be an artist when I went to art school, but I soon discovered that you could get more girls when you were a graphic designer at that time, really. <laughs> so I was very much into, uh, typography was very interesting to me and, and uh, the letter form and typography and what you can do with letters. So typography has been a very much of a starting point to uh, feel the aspects of graphic qualities, the black and white and uh, the composition of graphic white. And looking back at my current drawings and illustrations, which are more pictographic than they are illustrations, they're much more like this symbol kind of things, they refer to me a lot to the, the, the tension you can have and the contrast with the white and the black in typography. So there is a line visually, but also I think in I really enjoyed being a graphic designer to subtract the noise from the unnecessary information to be as simple as possible. It's a very hard process because you have to take things which are really dear to you. So there's this saying, kill your darlings. And kill your darlings means whatever you've left is always stronger in, in its compactness instead of showing everything you have. When I make an illustration, I don't need to understand the, the detailed information. I need to understand what are the opposite forces or the opposite con or the contradictions or the, what is called, what's adding up. And when I know those two, I can visualize them into an image. Which, which sort of feel, have that idea of those uh, abstracts on, on a more abstract level. So, and then I can make a picture. And the picture is not necessarily, literally showing what the story is about. Well, it's very, it, it, making images in this way I do, I, to me it's very important to open a door to somebody who's looking at it and have them fill in the story themselves. Because it's not illustrating in a literal way the story of an article, but it's adding a different layer. I also call my uh, drawings visual headlines. An, ed an editor who is writing headlines needs to find an, one aspect of the whole article into one line. And a good editor can make great headlines. I think that a good editor, is that's a job apart, that's a profession apart. If you're good, you can do that. And sometimes the headline of the article and the draw, my drawing, which is a visual headline, really works together. 